Well, look what has shown up at Papa Don's house. Said in an earlier video, I went all winter looking for projects, and now here in the last three weeks, four jet skis. This was a quick, spur of the moment purchase. Um, these things were have been sitting up for years, and the guy was actually going to take them like to the dump or something. He was asking how he could get rid of these things um, because no one was interested in buying them. They weren't his. They came to him in part of an inheritance from Texas, and he was just looking to get rid of them, and like I said, was actually going to dispose of them at the dump. So I really don't, I don't even know what year these are. Uh, this was, like I said, a very quick um, decision to buy these things. But when I, he showed me a picture, I was like, that's incredible. Look, at, I mean, you can tell, and I'll tell you one reason I know they've been sitting for a while, but look at the, um, these had to have been sitting inside for some time. Uh, there's not a whole lot of oxidation on the hood. And the nose of this thing, now the body wise, it looks like it, and it may just be a level a layer of dirt. Um, I can see it was a Texas, but anybody know what year this? Oh, 2000? Is that what that is? Looks like it. Anyway, now this is my trailer. I had to go grab them with my trailer. I walk around, they're identical. I'm assuming the same year. Like I said, I don't even know what year they are. This is so... 96? That's what it looks like. Yep. 96. Let's see what this one is. 96 as well. So these are a matching pair. Um, and they do... I mean, the graphics look pretty good. The hole looks good and when I say it looks good I'm, I'm talking about just there's really not a whole lot of oxidation on these things but there is one thing I'm going to show you these are really aren't two skis they're really one so I have opportunity here to build one ski out of two and let me show you the guy that I got these from had no clue he had never popped the uh, seats off these things, looked at the engine. I believe it because it was really hard getting the seats off. They had actually just kind of um, molded to the hull. Anyway, so he popped off this ski first. Let me show you. And what you're looking at about to see is I only had about two or three minutes to look at these things before it was time to get them out of there and I'm not going to tell you what I paid for this but let me just say this I may reveal it later if this works out this will be the best deal I have gotten even on one ski much less two here um, outside of the free two free jet skis Look at there, this thing's electric, runs off a of battery. This was it. So when I first opened this up, I was like, oh, come on, you know. You know, what, what looked like a great deal, there's no engines, and you can see that it's, it is pretty nasty. But everything appears to be here, except the engine. Now, I haven't opened up the hood. I haven't even opened up any of this stuff. I don't... Now, he told me he didn't even have that, so he didn't even know what he had. No clue what else is in there. So, I don't know anything about these this year and these model jet skis um 
let me take you over here first before we get into this now shade tree if you're watching this i may be calling on you i can't see off so we opened up the second one and you can see we've got an engine in this thing so now all of a sudden this was encouraging when i was looking at this um no telling how long this has been sitting up and i'm trying to um give you a good look at this thing around the e-box here is really bad but you know that doesn't mean that it's that way on the inside but it just the um if you can see that how it's just coming up so that's going to be interesting to pull that out and just see I'll give you a peek down in here um and i really want to it is kind of late in the evening i really want to um throw some oil in these down these cylinders and just see if this thing will turn over anyway steven still has the batteries the battery down in here both of them have the battery, but uh, I don't know anything about them. Shade Tree, these 900s, except they're triples. I know you just rebuilt a, an 1100, but you said a lot of things were similar, interchangeable between this and the 1100. So, um, anyway, um, well, we do have a key. So, there is. A key that actually goes on these things so is this universal I mean does it go on that one I know nothing about these skis so please chime in I don't know that I saw one of those over there I haven't even looked like I said a lot of standing water Got a whistle and fire extinguisher. Let's take a look at the other one over here. I just got these things home. Haven't had a chance to look in, look at them. Right, this. Oh, they kept them. The um, mats or the pads here. And it looks like just some rope. Let me check. Um, there's a key. I don't see. All right, that's a little worrisome. Well, the key. All right. There's one other thing before I get carried away like a lot of the engine bolts there as they took it out there's where they left everything but here's the um, there is another issue one reason I guess he was just looking to get rid of them take them to the dump <clears throat> all right so this one let me back up here no engine but a really good looking hole really dirty but i think when it cleans up it's going to look a lot better i mean almost new uh, the way this looks so we got a good body a good hole i've been all under it looks good but no engine this one like i said was pleased when i popped the top and okay we have an engine but here's the bad thing. Um, I'm going to drop you down here. Are you picking up the nice hole, big crack in this hole? So it goes all the way up and just, what, about four or five inches on the bottom. So I've been under this thing, and it's it. It's just right there, the damage. There's no more under the hole, so it looks like you got t-bone there 
so there you have it there's the situation we got a motor in a ski that will not float we got a ski that floats no engine so I am hoping that this engine is good um, that maybe he had no clue anything about this so I'm just guessing here hoping let me put it that way so I'm hoping that this engine is good that this thing was parked because of the damage to the hull and that's where it left and this one had engine damage somebody took it out and never put it back in so that's where we stand I'm excited about this like I said I really want to tear into this thing right now and I, I may do it I mean see what on the weekends I clear the garage out but during the weekdays we have vehicles in there so um, I would have to clear those out which is not that big of a deal but uh, get it under the lights because it's about to be dark here that's it that is all I know again somebody please tell me about the, um, the key what did I do with it there it is are these programs like the CDUs or does this work on anyone and I don't know how to get it I guess I don't even know what I'm doing here so that's something I'll have to look up um, don't know all right there we have it I think they look great um, you know if this engine is good it's just incredible what I I mean I just threw an offer out there and he took it and just incredible so I only had like I had to get them um, no time to look at them I have done nothing no I haven't had this off look at the carbs obviously no compression check zero but um, now what is this oh just oh just a nice wasp nest there we go all right guys I'm not gonna keep running a video and just uh, talking that's all I've got right now I may tinker with this thing well you'll see it if I if I decide to um, throw some oil down those cylinders and, uh, and a little gas down the carburetor just to bump this thing or just see if it'll turn over you'll see it I'll bring you obviously I'll film it and bring you back in but um, if I don't I'll tackle this tomorrow and we will see see what I've got there so I don't even know what the compression should be on these 900s is it 120 in each cylinder I think that's what I'd read sometime other but uh, I'd never really cared about picking up a triple um, when the two cylinders are about equal in speed but um, happy to have this thing especially for the price so all right I am going to stop right here and uh, think about what I'm going to do tonight and not just tonight because in behind me I still have the two skis here I got a locked engine over here that I've got to pull and no clue what's wrong with this one except it came uh, parts and pump off this thing so I, I don't know what the issue is but the engine spins over and sounds good so now I've got uh, three projects to uh, split my time so all right wasting time I'll stop here and see what I'm gonna do thanks all right I couldn't stand it guys so grab some lights but it doesn't matter let me show you what I found when I took the uh, breather box off the carbs 
or yeah the plate here over the carbs so at first when I opened this up I said what is this all down in here but again back to you shade tree I was watching one of your videos and I forgot what you call these things the little rubber things but look at this just disintegrated I think that's what it is but uh, I'm sure it's all down in in the falling down into the carbs there but so no I'm not going to turn it over now um, I'm going to take the carbs off of it and uh, but I had pulled the plugs here's plugs um, but I was ready couldn't stand it but oh well all right so I'm gonna pack this thing up and this will wait till the weekend when I can um, take the rest of this stuff out get a shop vac suck all this stuff out before I'm trying to take this uh, plate off the thing for fear of everything just dropping down just like it is now if I can point the camera right I can see stuff as you can all down in there now so well I gotta wait a few more days and um, see what I've got here so well shoot I wanted to turn it over all right then this will be a real close to the video and I'll catch you guys later when I update have more update on this and uh, update on the others all right catch y'all later